The term rotator cuff describes a group of four small muscles and tendons that hold the ball of your shoulder into its shallow socket while your larger muscles move your arm. Strains and injuries to the rotator cuff are the most common cause of shoulder problems, accounting for 4.5 million doctor visits each year. Rotator cuff injuries can range from simple irritation to complete tendon ruptures. Tears to the rotator cuff are common and are classified by the amount of damage. A partial tear means one side of your tendon has become somewhat frayed. A full thickness tear, sometimes called a complete tear, describes a hole or slit in the tendon, much like what would be created by running a knife lengthwise down a rope. A rupture is the most serious injury. This means that your tendon has been torn in two. Less than 10% of rotator cuff tears are the result of an acute injury like falling. Patients who have suffered an acute rotator cuff tear often report a snapping or ripping sensation accompanied by immediate severe pain and weakness. The vast majority of injuries are the result of repetitive strains occurring over a long period of time. One of the most common reasons to develop a rotator cuff problem is something called impingement. Impingement basically means that the area where your rotator cuff tendon lives has become too crowded, so the tendons and bursa are being pinched each time you raise your arm. This damages the rotator cuff tendon, much like a dull stone repeatedly striking a rope until it frays and tears. Those who perform repeated overhead activities are at greatest risk for impingement and the ensuing rotator cuff problems. Chronic rotator cuff injuries often begin silently, with symptoms becoming more noticeable as the tear progresses. Pain is often localized to the front and outside of your shoulder and can sometimes radiate into your arm. Symptoms are usually aggravated by overhead activity and may progress to the point that you have difficulty lifting your arm or even sleeping. While young patients who have suffered an acute rupture may require surgery, research shows that the majority of others will benefit from conservative treatments. In fact, medical experts have determined that conservative care, like the type provided by chiropractors, can be as effective as surgery for chronic non-traumatic rotator cuff injuries. In particular, chiropractors are uniquely trained to perform joint manipulation, which has been shown to assist in the resolution of shoulder pain. Other techniques that your chiropractor may employ to help you recover include therapy modalities to ease muscle tightness and pain, myofascial release to massage out compensatory tightness that has developed in overworked muscles, and stretching and strengthening exercises to decrease impingement, thereby eliminating the mechanical problem that caused your tear in the first place. So if you or someone you know suffers from a rotator cuff problem, consider the natural chiropractic alternative first.